Ever since the low-cost airline boom, world travel has become big business. But here's the problem. Airlines want light luggage to save their fuel bill, and you want it strong to protect your souvenirs. So what's the answer? Well, one solution is the aluminium suitcase. At this dedicated factory in Germany, they've been making lightweight aluminium cases for 50 years. The metal is strong, yet light, making it perfect for a suitcase. The metal is mostly aluminium mixed with magnesium. This improves the strength but keeps it tough as well as flexible. The first stage when making a suitcase like this is to give the metal its characteristic corrugation. Each sheet is fed into a roller which bends it into shape. The corrugation serves two useful purposes. The first is to give the case its traditional look. The second reason is far more useful as the grooves strengthen each sheet like corrugated iron on a shed roof. By folding the metal through a combination of flats and curves, it can now resist damage, for example when baggage handlers accidentally drop it. Once it's been corrugated, it must be re-flattened, otherwise the next machine wouldn't be able to work with it. So now we've got a flat corrugated sheet. To make an individual case, this now needs to be shaped. Using an industrial cutter, the sheet is clamped into the machine's grasp which then stamps out the right pieces. This makes the template for one half of the case. For the two separate lids to close securely, the case must have two bands, one for each lip. This worker clamps the band into place and a heavy-duty press bends it with the perfect angle so it will encircle one side of each half. He'll then rivet the band together to form the closed loop to fit the case. The next worker has quite an easy job. He just has to bang on the loops to make sure they fit together. Without a perfect match, the case wouldn't be watertight or secure. As well as the bands, the sides for each case also need to be bent using specialist equipment. Here, the panels for each half of the case are twisted and contorted into the right shape. A worker can now attach the handles, latches and screw covers. The sharp edges of the aluminium means all the workers must wear safety gloves. With the handles in place, he can now fit one of the bands to the side which will help draw all the panel edges into place. This is then sealed using more rivets. The plastic corners of the suitcase are next and they add strength to the aluminium body. Finally, the wheels are fitted into place. The case may be light, but you wouldn't want to have to carry it. Now, when you're using so many different parts, something is bound to go wrong. However, the factory have a special department that spends all day testing each model out. They also work to repair and restore any luggage that may have taken too much of a beating in the past. Meanwhile, back on the factory floor, this worker is adding some of the more useful elements to the case, including the fasteners that will hold it shut as well as the hinges. It's time to put the two sides of the case together. Using heavy-duty rivets, this machine seals the deal and the case can now be closed. So we've got our hard-wearing exterior, but the inside could still do with a little work. First, a layer of glue is added, followed by a layer of fabric. This will protect your clothes and keep your souvenirs safe. It's also fitted with a high-tech extendable handle. So, with an aluminium suitcase, you can travel knowing that your bag may end up in a different airport from you, but at least it'll be in one piece. <laughs>